Yo, what's up everybody? This is Lay on the Pedal. Be your own doctor. You got enough gas in the tank. This is Dr. Leon, DJ Smoothie Blue coming at you. What's going on? This is the prologue to 2020, you know, retrievals 2020, rebirth 2020. We're gonna split this up in a couple different ways. Firstly, we're gonna go ahead and do acapella first, ownership purposes. You know what mixtapes I came out with so far. Old to me, new to you. Old to me, new to you too, which is, you know, 2020. Yes, I did predict 2020, by the way, you know what I'm saying, for my own personal development. So, you know, I'm throwing it on that. I didn't know all this stuff was going to happen verbatim, but it is what it is on that. Excuse the kids outside. They are playing. We are in Griffiths Residential right now. Recording in the living room. So what you going here is some, you know, hopping euro purge Some uh, some typing some, you know situations, you know my girl, you know, what I'm saying damn bell, you know, what I'm saying It's technical tech program. She doing she working hard doing her thing. So show her love that You know, what I'm saying show her some love But uh, yeah, so you know who you are part two. That's where you need to go You know who you are part one I'm gonna redo that anyway, but part two, if you want the juice, go there. Um, I'm gonna refine that and do all the thank yous and all that. But again, you know, Griffiths, thank you for the road in the butt project. You know, Leona Pels, not only a record label, it's also reviews and testing company, traffic education, sports. You know, I'm saying the whole nine. www.leonapedal.com, you know who I am. So, with that being said, again, thanks, Griffiths, for the Road in the Bump project. You know, things would have been a little bit different. Hold on for a sec. All right, we uh, we continuing. Um, Alyssa made a good point that it's uh, bump in the road, not road in the bump. It's not a road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, but, yeah. Bumping the road project, you know, um, if y'all didn't give me and my girl some time to pay everything off, you know, we'd have been in a different, well, two months rent free would have been another situation. Uh, just to preface, you know, the companies in particular, you're going to get more shout out, but uh, as time goes on, but uh, can y'all leave me alone for this credit card stuff? You know what I'm saying? Um uh, like, you know, I'm going to pay y'all back, but y'all ain't giving me no type of loans, anything like that. I'm in the same conversations, corporations and stuff. You know, I'm doing everything I can. Y'all can check out my traffic education stuff. Hold on a sec. Uh, that'll be the last time I get interrupted for this. My bad on that. Uh, Yeah, on the credit card companies. All right. I'm going to just kind of put everybody a line in the sand here, if you will. Y'all yeah, wonder why I haven't been able to pay y'all back. You know, I've been getting calls on for American Express, for Chase Bank, for the Freedom Unlimited car. We're talking about the uh, Bank of America and way cards. And it's like, I can't pay y'all back because of a few reasons. Number one, it's like, you look at my website, and like I said, you know, record label, reviews and testing, life doctoring, coaching, and sports traffic light analysis. All right, people. I call myself a real leader. Why is that? Because most of this is free. A lot of y'all wonder, well, well, how are you going to do all this? Why are you doing the book series online? You know what I'm saying? Because it's free. I was like, doesn't a real leader put everybody else before themselves first? You know? Doesn't that happen? Because, I mean, I threw thousands of dollars on the mixtape series. And uh, nobody really bumped that. So... I mean, it is what it is. That's how you're playing with the ball, excuse me. But it's like, you know, I'm not saying I never had help. You know, I had federal grants and things of that nature for school, which I appreciate. But it's like, y'all act like I never paid you back before. When I got MJ, which is the Mazda 626 from the Mississippi, buy here, pay here. You know, I was in debt, not only for school. I, I paid y'all back, <laughs> but I also had to pay the car back itself. So I, I paid that back. That wasn't properly reported on my credit, so I had to, you know, it was reported not the proper way, though. 
And so when I got, you know, Julia, which is the Nissan Altima 2011, they couldn't properly, I mean, just cars in general, they couldn't really give me credit for that. But anywho, I paid that back. I got credit cards. I paid back all my credit cards on time. Y'all could look in my records and I paid all my stuff back. I got my credit score to the 790s, which is out of 850, which is pretty impressive for, you know, especially people in my demographic, black, African-American, you know, did that. So, but haven't been able to get a business loan. It's COVID times, haven't been able to get um, SBA loans or PPP loans. So, you know, I don't know what else y'all are looking for, but anywho, I'm telling you again, that I did all that for free. So if you listen to my mixtapes, if you listen to my projects, it's available on DatPiff, which I will admit here at DatPiff that I did cop to try to increase my views for the Minute Action mixtape because nobody was listening and I wanted to get more people exposed to the project. But you know, you gotta bet on yourself sometimes. I know what y'all system is, you know, so if you wanna take it down, that's up to you. But um, to all the people that do that, I understand. But at the end of the day, you are your own best campaign so you should be pushing that uh you know for streaming services yeah definitely i'm not gonna say where you know what i'm saying but you talking to somebody that i used to pirate back in the day you know cds and projects because i couldn't afford to get them you know i only had a certain budget so i would do that i would also you know use other people's stuff for to stream music so you know when you look at all my stuff on youtube right now I get it. You know, I understand where artists and DJs come from. Everybody's got their hand in the pot already, you know, for producers, composers, artists, DJs and the like. So I definitely get it. And that's why I haven't had an issue not getting paid for what I've been doing, really. I haven't seen any sales from Men of Action Retrieval. I haven't seen any sales from and that's why. But uh, the line in the sand is I'm telling everyone right now that everything that I did before, sure, we're going to call that, you know, in terms of what I provided is free. It's not going to stay free forever. You know, things will be, you know, like I didn't review and test your company for free. You know, all the places I worked at, I didn't do that for free. I didn't DJ for free. I didn't rap for free. I didn't, you know, help people out from committing suicide. And I'm not going to say any names, but you know who I'm talking to. I've helped a lot of people commit suicide. I've taken a lot of advice. I've uh, given a lot of advice, the whole nine. I've done traffic education videos, all that for free. So um, to everyone, you know, the government, USPTO, uh, people wondering why I'm in this situation where I'm like almost 30K in debt, you know, like shoot, rent's due the next week. And I chose to do this versus Instacart because of ownership. You know what I'm saying? Why am I gonna go do this for another company when I, I did it last week? Got two you spend like what four or five hours and get like twenty something dollars, maybe thirty, depending on the ones you take. Not a, and that's gas money. And as you'll hear, I did Amazon Flex. I've been doing side hustles. The system's crooked, y'all. You already know that. I'm not gonna talk about it some more, but you know, if it takes me, you know, building my own stuff and getting ownership, me changing my name too. I had to change my name and that's been a crazy trip. It is Dr. Leon now, whether y'all want to give me the period or not is, you know, it's not up to you. It is with the period, but I understand legally it doesn't have a period, but cause y'all, you know, wanted to make sure I'm not going to defraud the public. And uh, here I am, you know, I'm all out here, you know, again, I'll say it here again. I said, and who you are part two, but you know me as Devontae Robinson, Deontay Leon Robinson, which is Americanized. Deontay Leon Robinson is how it's properly pronounced. Uh, you know, 521-95-9664 is my social. 521-95-9664 is my social. You'll hear my driver's license in the Who You Are Part 2. So that's what I am. That's what I'm doing. You know, I put all y'all first. So if you've gotten anything from me in a relationship, friendship, everything like that, it was for free. It's for, I support you. Nonetheless, you know, I ain't taking shots at anybody. I'm not sitting here trying to talk bad upon anybody. But I'm in this position because I wanted y'all all to succeed first. So nobody could ever look at me like, oh, you're trying to be here for the money. You're trying to, you know, you're just trying to further your own pocket. People lay on the pedals here to stay. You know what I'm saying? I want this here. It's going to be here forever. So I could give to the broken communities. I could give to the people that are struggling, that don't have, um, they don't have the 
resources they need to be able to do what they need to do. You know, I grew up broke. You know, my mother pinched pennies, even though she didn't have to, but I ain't going to talk about that. Same with Pops. You know, I drove around in the cab with him. I've been broke most of my life. I get it. I've lived paycheck to paycheck. I've used the credit card and had to pay back the credit card, hence my credit score. So that's why I haven't been paying y'all. And that's why I'm sitting here right now. And that's out to the world. So, you know, and a lot of companies, Target, um, a lot of other companies, and I say this on behalf of LLC, you know, reviews and testing, a lot of y'all have seen um, have these millions and billions of dollars for people, especially black that are doing everything they need to do. And, uh, you know, there's a candidate right here and I ain't seeing none of that. Just saying. So if it ain't coming to me, it ain't going to the other people. And I've just been watching. I've just been watching to see how are you going to continue to rob the black, uh, rob the black and black and brown communities and, uh, you know, just the minorities. I mean, this ain't even our land anyway, but, uh, Anywho, if you could support this project, you know, I'm going to just do $7.77. You know what I'm saying? If you could support this project, I would highly appreciate that. That would get the Canvas Credit Union off of my back because uh, I'm also going to say public service credit unions, which y'all used to be. It doesn't make sense because for to get Julia, which is the car on my card, by the way, I had to go into debt roughly 13 k which I paid y'all back in top speed in like, what, two years instead of five and uh not only did i pay y'all back but i closed my other accounts to be with y'all and y'all are treating me as if like i don't matter but okay i will you know i'll pay y'all back and i'll close my accounts asap don't even trip about that unless y'all could do something for me on that um but either way it's gonna get paid so so there's that and then uh we got you know renting utilities coming up and things like that so if y'all could do that you know there's a lot of artists out here struggling dj struggling everybody's struggling so let's help feed each other's mouths instead of uh, corporations that don't care about the people. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Please enjoy. This is going to be the acapella series. And, uh, you know, we'll revisit later. Expect some things to come out before the end of the year. All right. And please expect me to grow like this ain't perfect. I got my setup at home. Um, you know, I'm going to make it work. You know, you're going to hear remixes, freestyles. You know, I'm going to do my thing as an artist and DJ, you know what I mean? But uh, to everybody in the past, you know what's good. I'm going to be here without y'all. If you hear my your inspiration inside my music, you most likely have inspired me. Um, what's another track? I'll talk about it a little more, but there's some tracks that you ain't going to like what you hear, but it is what it is. That was my past. Um, most likely, if you think I had a crush on you, I did. Um, shoot, man. Just just enjoy the ride. Lay on the pedal. Be your own doctor. Hopefully all this. It's just to give you inspiration so you could be your own superhero. All right. Um, you know, Gran Turismo, you saved my life. Anime manga, you saved my life. Everybody, you saved my life. So blessings to the most high. Thank you. All right. Let's uh, get to the first track. You got enough gas in the tank. Courtesy of Lay on the Pedal LLC. Also, uh, also, real quick, I just forgot to mention, there's a part in there, I just don't know how to edit it yet, but there's a part up in there that uh, says I caused people to commit suicide. Hey, that that's that's a typo, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that. Uh, also, just to clarify, you know, uh, Alicia Ashurst is my girl, you know what I'm saying? That's the primary relationship I'm in. And uh, I mentioned it, but she's in a surgical tech program. And right now she's working 40 hours a week at Floor and Decor to, you know, um, do to keep food on the table so I just want to shout her out and thank her on that so um, can, can y'all you know help a brother out so she could get off of the uh, so she could just focus on school you know 24-7 you know what I'm saying she could focus on this strenuous program that she worked hard to get into that I told her to get into because I'm going to make ends meet um, can you get past your own ego and pride because uh, I, I you know I've, I've gone out there to the mall and other places and a lot of y'all feel like oppression doesn't exist, but uh, when they see a tall, you know, black man, 66, walking in there in a blue suit, you know what I'm saying, with a, a good tie, a vest, and some pants with a, a Rolex, uh, which I got, by the way, I got the Rolex with the diamonds on it from a gentleman that is from Chicago, because he got it from Dubai, and he needed to get his family home from here. He was in the Walmart parking lot off of Colfax and Wadsworth, and he gave me his, first off, he gave me his wedding ring. Uh, just for me filling up his tank 
I'm not. I don't need to emphasize on that. And then he gave me his gold chain and his gold uh, wrist chain and his roly. Um, I believe that was for uh, fourteen hundred. Um, and I withdrew that from Chess Bank on the same day as I was going to do the mixtape, the twenty twenty mixtape. So that's funny, right? But I did that too. And uh, you know, you wear that roly, right? And uh, you see the. Yeah, I wish y'all could see the hate in some people's eyes, the disdain in some people's eyes. Uh, yeah, so if no one gives you money <laughs> for doing the right thing and you're not getting loans to help make ends meet, where is it coming from, people? Um, but yeah, y'all could check all my accounts and my information again. Everything is out there. So, you know, it is what it is. A little dirty. But uh, yeah, support me where you can support us where you can. Uh, if you ain't gonna do it for me, do it for her, do it for Habanero, cause again, you know, I put her in the hospital and they did a good job at uh, healing her up. So, and all the peoples uh, that I've gotten to a fight with, uh, Chaz, what up? You know, uh, I was doing the beat on the table, which caused the fight in the first place. <laughs> so, if anything, if you need any proof that I'm a DJ, there's there's just, there's some proof from him. You could ask. I pissed him off because I was doing beats on the table with a pen. So. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I got into hella fights and I've hit people, hit my pops in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? So I come from abuse. You know, I get it. And uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just better now. You know what I'm saying? Um, hopefully you can appreciate the growth, you know. And if not, that's a reflection on you at the end of the day. All right, enough. We're going to go to the first track. One. 